uh, since we were talking about the NX uh, a little bit, um, oh my god, like, uh, again, people are very, very angsty about where is the NX, what is Nintendo doing, is Nintendo never gonna reveal the NX like my one friend believes it's gonna be, um, I have no idea, like, I'm not, I'm like, I'm not hired by Nintendo, I wish, um, but in terms of, like, let's say, uh, why Nintendo is taking so long, uh, Purely, it's, it's since they're a company, they want to maximize their profits and minimize their losses. And by doing that, they want to uh, secure the most financially uh, efficient way to promote the NX. Um, which is, in this way, waiting um, until a really uh, opportune opportunity to showcase the NX to have a very enthralling launch. Which makes sense. And in terms of when exactly this will be, I feel like we're trying to predict Revelation. Uh, he'll never know the date or time or something. Um, I have no idea. Uh, but I do have a particular theory of mine. Um, the NX, uh, whether it's going to be a dual uh, console thing with one mobile unit, one, co one console unit. Um, uh, Nintendo is promoting a certain kind of strategy or a tactic. Um, in which uh, they're really promoting the uh, the the concept of the casual game, and but what I mean by casual game, I don't mean like kitty friendly game where all you see is happiness and rainbows and stuff. Um, I mean casual in terms of how the game actually plays. Like for example, Call of Duty can be is actually a very casual game. Like let's say I play Team Deathmatch for about five minutes and then I'll just uh, have my leave at it. I was having a conversation with a uh, uh, loot crane. Um, no, not Luke. Yeah, Luke Crate. No, not Luke. Wait, I, I'm messing up his name. His name is Cole. <laughs> yeah. uh, he, he's um, been on the channel several times, so the people listening should have an idea of who he is. Yeah, I was having a conversation with him, um, and then he was basically saying that Birth of the Wild is actually a very casual game because, uh, let's say, I could go through a shrine and I could just uh, go through that just in seven minutes and call it a morning or something. Um, and I feel like that's what Nintendo is really pushing out, since uh, we see many titles kind of having that uh, flair. Uh, Super Mario Run is one example. That's a mobile game. Uh, Color Splash uh, with the new Paper Mario along with Federation Force um, and the new uh, Pikmin um, have all shown the, this uh, emphasis on the casual game, not to be too in-depth with it. The reason why I think Nintendo is going around this route is because Miyamoto in an interview uh, did say that he saw that the old way of gaming is kind of dead. Like the old couch kind of gaming is not really getting too much steam. Which in Japan is true. Uh, in Japan, uh, gaming has very much sh shifted to mobile gaming. Uh, in the West, it's a bit different. Uh, I think we're kind of like a mixed bag in that sense. Um, in the East, that completely does make sense. Uh, so, in terms of new titles and what we get with the NX, I do have a strong feeling it will go to more the casual route. Um, Ubisoft's uh, president uh, did say it's going to retake the Wii uh, audience. And uh, and again, what I mean by casual is the, how the game actually plays, not the graphical uh, capability, not how the art style is presented, but how the game plays in terms of how invested you are in it. Uh, what I consider a hardcore game is like The Last of Us. You have to be invested in the game's story to really get the, everything out of it. A casual game like Call of Duty, for example, I could play five minutes Team Deathmatch and I'm pretty much done for today. Um, and that's and same thing with mobile gaming, very casual. Let's say I play Candy Crush for two minutes, that's casual. Um, and so I, I feel like that's the two distinctions that should be made in this. Yeah, I mean, Ubisoft is... I think one of their most casual games that they always support Nintendo consoles with. I think uh, last year or maybe the year before, they were still putting out Just Dance games on the Wii. And, you know, that system, the successor to that system has been out for several years now and they're still supporting it with Just Dance. And whenever the Wii U first launched, they supported it with uh, Zombie U, which was an exclusive at the time. And with the NX, I could see them putting more faith in Nintendo and giving them yet another exclusive if they did make it, uh, it with your definition of what a casual game is, whether it's a platformer or an adventure game or just a simple pick up and play for five minutes and then 
you've had your fill. Uh, like whatever they do, I think they're still going to be doing that. And in terms of Nintendo's games, we know that Breath of the Wild uh, is going to be coming for it, and we know. Um, well, I mean, we can all kind of use common sense to say that some type of Mario game will be a launch title for the system as well, or at least come out within the first year of the game's launch, or the system's launch, and uh, Mario has always been Nintendo's go-to casual game, I would say, but in terms of, uh, like, the Call of Duty franchise, or the Call of Duty developers and publishers supporting Nintendo. Um, I don't know if we would see that, but I do see these uh, other casual games, like you were saying, coming to the Nintendo NX. I just can't see uh, certain companies putting faith back in it until maybe a year or two out when Nintendo has shown that it's successful. Alright, what are your thoughts on this, CC? Um, the way you were saying a certain game would come out at, at the time of the launch, like, the only reason I would think Mario, I heard you mention Mario coming out, I would think that just because Mario comes to mind when I think Nintendo, obviously it's one of their bigger titles, but in terms of Nintendo as a whole, I don't really keep up with them, so I don't have a lot of thoughts All right. on that part. <laughs> Alright, well, to add a little bit more depth to the topic, Andy, when exactly do you think Nintendo will be revealing the NX? Uh, do you think it will be next week, as earlier you said some rumors suggest, or do you think it'll be after the holiday season, that way uh, someone who may be interested in buying a Nintendo Wii U might hold off if they hear news of what the NX actually is, but if they save the NX news, maybe this is their last chance to give the Wii U that tiny push that it needs before it just completely fails. That's a really, really good question. Um, Nintendo is a company, and as all companies, they really seek profit. They seek financial monetary gain. So uh, they would pick a date that is most that can maximize their profits on probably launching the NX. Um, I would like to think uh, before Thanksgiving, um, and that's just and the reason why I'm saying that is because it does lead in with the holiday season, and uh, there's actually much more uh, internet usage around the uh, holiday season. Um, so I really think they want to bank off, uh, let's say, NX pre-orders that may or may not happen right after Black Friday. Um, so in terms of the NX reveal, I want to make a prediction that it will be revealed before Thanksgiving. All right. And that's my two cents on it. So uh, pretty much within the next month to month and a half, you think the NX is going to be officially revealed? Yep. And do you think this will be at some kind of event that they create, or do you think it'll just be another Nintendo Direct? Uh, that's another really good question. Because um, uh, for launching consoles, they used to have uh, Space World, where they would show off all of the new stuff they were working on. And uh, I think the last time they had that was with the Wii or the 3DS. In but. terms of, like, how they're going to reveal the console, um, Nintendo Directs have done historically well. Um, the thing is, if they're going to do a, like, let's say, a press conference or a reveal of something of that sort, I'm not necessarily sure they'll do that, uh, because it takes time to actually reveal that, and it'll take more time to get invita invitations out yeah. and to have people fly in, and before Thanksgiving, uh, that's kind of pushing a short notice. So I feel like it will be a Nintendo Direct, and I have a mind that they already have this stuff recorded right now, um, and they're just waiting for a really good way to, or an oppor opportune time to unleash it. Yeah, because um, I, rem I remember with uh, PlayStation 4, they had the official reveal where they talked about it and everything. They had their own PlayStation event, and with, like you said, it being so close to Thanksgiving, the holiday season, they would be pushing their luck with flying out different uh, developers and reporters and stuff like that to actually talk about it. So. 
I guess a Nintendo Direct at this point in time would be uh, a safer bet, I would say. Makes sense. Alright, uh, is there any final thoughts either of you would like to add on this topic? No, I pretty much agree about it. In terms of just final words... Oh. <laughs> go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say that I agree with you about the whole holiday season, taking advantage of that, and releasing, or revealing it, prior to the holidays. Alright. Right. Cause, I mean, there's five, realistically, there's five months until the console should be launched, and nobody officially knows what it is outside of uh, developers and stuff, so the fact that some people are thinking this is going to be a handheld, some people think it's going to be a hybrid, and other people think that it's just going to be a normal system like uh, the Wii was or the N Nintendo 64 GameCube to where it is just a set at home console. Uh, nobody actually knows what it is. Everyone has their own ideas. Even if it is a hybrid, is it going to have the power and the handheld itself and then you dock it on something that lets it play on the TV? Or is the power in the dock and then it just streams to the handheld? Nobody really knows. and. With all of the confusion about it, Nintendo, I think, needs to have at least three, I would even say six months of letting people know exactly what this is. That way people or fans and customers aren't as confused on what it is like they were with the Wii U. Because that was one of the big problems with the Wii U is that... A lot of people thought it was just a controller add-on for the Wii. A lot of people thought it was just the Wii. They didn't really know that it was a brand new console. So they're kind of uh, reaching their limit on what exactly they can do to reveal it without uh, not giving us the time that I think some of the fans need to be confused with it. Alright, so moving on to your topic, Cece, have you thought of anything yet? Um, kind of in regards to Breath of the Wild specifically. Hey, I'm McIntyre Productions, or Andy, or whatever you like to call me, I suppose. Uh, I typically do uh, Zelda theories and uh, countdowns and discussions news over at the McIntyre Productions channel. And I'm actually working on a second channel uh, dealing with purely with animations. I'm actually working on one right now. Um, and if that strikes you fancy, then head over there. And yeah. All right. Hi, guys. I'm Cecilia, or CC for short. Um, over on my channel, I just do kind of Zelda related videos. But I try to expand to like other things of my interest. So if you're interested, check that out. <laughs> What's up everyone, this is Jesse, and welcome to The Insulate. I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you're a fan of my Zelda or gaming news theory or discussion videos like this, please consider supporting this channel by donating through patreon.com slash gameoverjesse, where you can get new videos early, be able to join on discussion or theory videos, get shoutouts, and tons of other great rewards. Thank you all so much for allowing me to do this, watching my videos, and especially you Alex Myers, Jonathan, The Itch Network, and John Frank for your support on Patreon.